guys welcome back to my channel this video will be about graduate versus undergraduate writing so if you are currently a graduate student or you are a student in a, um, an undergraduate program this video will be very helpful for you because it's so important for you to know that there are differences between writing at a graduate level versus writing at an undergraduate level so I'm really hoping that this video is very beneficial for you and not just that, if you are also someone that is just curious, you may not be a graduate student, you may not be an undergraduate student, but you are someone that's very curious about the process, this video will be very helpful for you as well. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, like I said before, undergraduate versus graduate level writing. Let's talk about it. All right, what are some similarities between an undergraduate writing versus a graduate writing we're going to talk about it right now so the similarities are both level of writing utilizes evidence from scholarly sources example peer review journal article so if you are writing at a graduate level or even if you're writing at an undergraduate level you will be using scholarly articles professors will be saying hey the only sources that we would like for you to use is scholarly journal articles the reason why they tell you to use that is because there's so many sources out there and some of these sources are not really credited. So they want to make sure that the sources are credited for you to use. It does not just help you, but it also helps the school as well. So it's so important that when you enter into a graduate program or even an undergraduate program, just remember that scholarly journal articles are very important for you to use as sources. Uh, another point is both uh, utilizes APA and MLA formats. So these are, there's so many formats out there, but these are the two main formats that you will use in college when you're writing your papers, APA and MLA formats. So you don't have to worry about um, when you enter a graduate program that you're going to use a different format. It's more than likely going to use the APA or MLA. All right, so all information presented is cited according to the format utilized. Like I said, if you use like if you use APA or MLA format, there's gonna be a specific way on how to cite this format. Now, if I would be glad to make another video coming up, and I probably will, about citing APA and citing MLA. But for right now, we're gonna talk about um, the importance of citing these when you're writing your paper because it's so crucial. You can you can lose a lot of points if you don't cite these sources properly. So the other point is writing style is specific, precise, concise, objective, and non-emotional. So whether you're a graduate student or not a graduate student, the writing style should be quite similar to, to what I just said. It should make sure it's non-emotional. Make sure you're not putting your opinion in your writing. Your writing has nothing to do, or excuse me, your opinion has nothing to do with your writing. Your writing should be based on the sources that you have uh, 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 I've, I've achieved, I've went out and obtained. That is what your writing should be about. It shouldn't be about any opinions at all. And especially when you reach the doctorate level, opinions are not negotiable. It's not on the table at all. It's literally about sources, sources, sources. They will scream that at you. Sources, where's your sources? <laughs> all right, let's continue. So what are some differences? Because of course there are differences. So what are some differences? And we'll touch on that right now. So let me step away. All right. So when it comes on to writing, right, at the graduate level and the undergraduate level, at the undergraduate level, writing assignments are heavily guided and directed by professors. So when I was in um, my bachelor's program, right, most of my, if most if not all of my writing assignments, you know, they, they told you the topic, you know, they gave you a list of topics all that stuff and so you're able to kind of like okay let me look at information as it relates to this topic now at the graduate level it's quite different because a good amount of the time is based on your research and so especially when you go and do your dissertation and i'll touch on that more dissertation is your is your kind of like your uh, the big your research basically especially when you reach that level and conduct your research it's all about what you your personal research that you have researched has nothing to do with what someone else has said. You can use those as, um, I wouldn't say evidence, but you can use those as um, like literature to help support whatever your proposal is. 
But at a graduate level, it's very different because it's going to be about you and what you have researched versus what someone else has researched at the undergraduate level. So I hope I explained that uh, properly. All right, let's continue. So research, undergraduate research versus graduate research. So here we go. Undergraduate research, uh, you gather information from other sources and present it, right? And um, mostly present, mostly present what others have said about a topic. That's the undergraduate level. So the graduate level is you conduct in-depth research, provide findings with the aim to contribute to the student's uh, chosen field. And you, in, at the graduate level, you also present knowledge from your own expertise and insight. So basically, the undergraduate level, you're 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 mostly looking looking up information, and you're you're presenting that information based on that individual, whoever that researcher is, what they have researched. So that's basically what you're doing. Now, at the graduate level, you are conducting your own research, and then you're presenting it from for, for from from your own findings. So it's quite different, right? The undergraduate level is you're giving the information based on someone else's take based on someone else's insight, based on someone else's research, someone else's knowledge. You're basically doing everything from someone else's point of view versus the graduate level is going to be mostly based on your point of view. So that's the main difference when it comes on to research. All right, let's continue. So the APA format. The reason why I want to talk about the APA format is because when you reach to, when you get to a level, the doctoral level, the APA format is going to be your best friend. Because the APA format is, yes, there are many formats out there, but the APA format specifically, it's a research format. So you're going to use the APA format when you get to that level. So um, at the bachelor's level and the associate's level and, and, and so forth, at that level, you will use the APA format, but it's quite different. So I'm going to explain it. So the undergraduate writing, parts of uh, APA style, so as, as, on that part, you will have the title, the abstract, the body, and references. That's your format at the undergraduate level. It probably won't change much. When you go to a doctoral level, the graduate level um, writing is going to be a lot different. So you will have your abstract. You will have introduction to your topic. You will have literature review. You have a method section. You have an uh, overview of the results section. You have discussion of the results. And you have the um, conclusion. So on that level, it's quite different. It's more in-depth. It's more detailed. It's a lot different writing than you would on in, on the bachelor's level and at the associate's level. So, all right, let's continue. And I want to tell you guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will be giving more videos in the future. If you have any questions or anything you want me to talk about or make a video about, please let me know in the comment section. Again, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful, blessed life. Talk to you later. Bye.